reason. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Lauren and if you're not new here, welcome back. I am a ceramicist and I make studio vlogs and I've been really bad at editing stuff in time to post it within the same month. So here we are. Just decided today, because we had a kiln unload, that I would just do this quick little video showing you what I'm bringing to Valentine's pop-up this weekend. I think I'll also take you with me to the pop-up so you, we can just hang out for the weekend. I've been really off my YouTube game, which has meant that I've been able to channel a lot more energy into my ceramics game. January felt like it lasted 200 years and I have a feeling that February is gonna feel like that. This weekend when I do the pop-up it's already gonna be February 11th and that's wild. We're already almost halfway through. I ended up having a lot of trouble with my red this time around. I don't know, well I do know what happened for some things. I was trying the Amico Radiant Red Underglaze. I had not tested it to see if it worked with my clear, but the clear I was using, I used Mako Zinc Free Clear and I used Plainsman Clear, both commercial glazes that I've used with red underglaze, the Mako kind before, totally fine. But I guess maybe that was the issue because if they're both Mako brand, they should work together. Anyway, this is the Mako Red with Plainsman Clear Glaze. It turned out totally fine. Uh, someone had told me that they were using the Amico red and it was like more of a vibrant red So I got really excited got it and put it on everything else except for this and Unfortunately, it ended up doing this Which really sucks because this is such a cute cup, but the I don't know if you can even you can see it in the light There's just a bunch of bubbles trapped in here. I'm still gonna sell it because it is food safe with the disclaimer about this and I will discount it obviously because it's not what I was hoping for otherwise this would be like a very very cute cup it still is cute this one turned out great I don't this is with the Plainsman clear glaze though so maybe that's why this one turned out great I really got mixed results in this batch okay so this is the Plainsman clear glaze the Amico underglaze and it actually, no problems, but the glaze came out really thick on this one. And I'm hoping it's just like, looks like I was going for a softer style. This one is very, very simple. It's just like white with pink speckles. And that's just glaze layered over glaze. The lighting is so weird. It's been like foggy and just kind of gloomy for the last three, four days. And so the light has been kind of like, Blah. and I've been feeling kind of blah. Today's the first day I like put some mascara on and tried to get ready and did my bangs and didn't just wear a toque, so that's where we're at. This one, I had a ton of crawling on the inside for some reason, and it was just my normal white glaze that I have used so many times. It is a new batch, I guess, so maybe it was too thick when it went in. It didn't seem like I had any issues. This is just like some layered I think I'm gonna call this like a strawberry shortcake base because that's just kind of what the colors remind me of. I think it's cute. I don't know. I think putting flowers in it will be the real test. I like these little drippy bits that happened. I think that's why it reminds me of cake too, a little icing. I actually have to go get bigger jump rings because I didn't get the right size. But this... I put the glaze on too thick and so the texture is like very bumpy and not what I was going for. But the red is redding. It's very red. And then I just put some little focus butterfly charms on it. I was gonna do hearts but I felt like that was too on the nose and butterflies are kind of more evergreen. So yeah, just has some little jewelry. One's a little bit longer. Kind of reminds me of wearing like one long earring with one little shorty. I also just did some more classic tigers, a love theme with some little hearts. And then I just had these candlestick holders that were bopping around since December. And one is a butterfly and one is a little pink flower. Still candle season because it's still cold. Also I feel like candle season is whenever you want, right? Oh, I just have some squiggle mugs. These used to be like my thing back in the day. Um, and I just had a couple that I just glazed white, very simple. I'm glad I glazed them white because I would have been really sad if I had glazed these red and they had that same issue and they weren't food safe. That would have been very disappointing. This is just like a classic little 
checkered cutie. Weirdly enough, this red is fine. This side, the red went bumpy. So I just have like a little bow. This was actually my last update and didn't sell, but I thought I would bring her to the pop-up. This little bowl, very simple, but very cute and no glaze issues, thank God. This one's fine. And then I have this plate that had kind of the same issues. You can only see it in the light. Um, the texture issues looks good on camera, but since I have you here I might as well also show you in case you don't follow me on Instagram my dragon stuff These were just two prototypes that I did I had some brown clay bisqueware that I wanted to try some designs on in January And so the goal is to do more of these but also on white clay and This is one I got some comments saying that it kind of looks like the dragon from Spirited Away, Haku. This one was more like friendly dragon, kind of cutesy dragon. And this one I tried to make really fierce, but he still kind of looks cute. They're very much like the tiger style. And I did some cool little flames over here. I don't know if I love the yellow and the green. I think I liked the white better, but I was just, just I was just trying out couple of different options for the prototype and I do really like the handle. I think it's quite, I think they turned out quite cool. Um, yeah, I'm gonna do a batch of these, I'm thinking for the end of March. It does feel really good to be chatting with you guys again. rejigging the wheels to make like a cool little learning space you saw that I bought a pack of mirrors from Ikea and I decided for this end of month showcase thing I wanted to make some ceramic mirror frames and so I got this mirror cutter and I have this mirror say hello to the filming setup I'm gonna try cutting it right now. I feel like I should probably take this backing off, hey? But is it sticky? No. Or maybe I should keep it on so it like stays all together and doesn't splinter. I don't really know. We're gonna just go ahead and try it. I've already had this for like a month and I'm just finally getting around to using it now. So since I have you here today, let's try it out.
I won these little cutie patoots at my staff holiday party. And so I wanted to make a little altar for them. I have a vision of like a little scene that I want them to live in. Um, so that's what I'm gonna make next. I have been informed that plant currently has tulips. I usually get them from the farmer's market, but they're a bit expensive. They're like $15 a bunch. And so I feel like if I can get them from work, that's a better deal. And I wanna get a bunch for the pop-up. If I get them now, add some fresh water, they should be good until Sunday. For sure. Okay, so actually we're just gonna ditch what we're doing right now and go get some tulips. I'm back. I pretty much didn't film anything there. And then I didn't get tulips, but I did get some quince, which Tony informed me is from a pear fruit tree. Just so pretty, they look fake, but they are real. I don't know if these are gonna last till Sunday, so I'm just gonna take some photos of the vases with them now while they're still cute. a bit better today. Oh my god, that's so cute. to the Valentine's pop-up. This is a red skirt that my I got from my mom and just a white t-shirt. I put a little red clip in my hair and then I just have these like clunky chunky little boots. I don't know. I really hemmed and hawed over what to wear today but I feel like I'm just gonna go casual with it try to match the work. Got my column, some bags, Rima's is bringing more bags some display little things, tablecloth, ceramics, flowers. These are so pretty, I'm gonna bring them home after. This is so cute.